Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the newly launched streetwear color rich collection. They have like revamped their collection streetwear. It was a brand earlier as well, but they have brought in like a whole new range of products and with new packaging. So I'm going to be reviewing all the products for you so that you don't have to wander off and look for other reviews because I'm a possessive YouTuber. I want you just myself. No, you can obviously look to other reviews as well. I'm just saying because it's going to be a little simpler for you. As well as I didn't want to make individual small little videos for each product. It would have been a work, a task for myself as well. So I just was like, ah, let's do it in one go. And we're going to having, we're going to be having swatches as well. So stay tuned to know about all the products. The first product is Streetwear Color Rich Perfection Foundation. It comes in a packaging like so with a cute pop-up comic art uh, art like uh, photograph which I really, really like but the packaging part of it sucks because you open it and there is no pump, no squeeze tube, just there you're like you're on your own and it just spills over to everywhere which I hate, I hate and um, it, the texture of it is quite watery but I find that applying it with a beauty blender is much more easier as somehow I think the beauty blender absorbs excess of the water and what you have is just the foundation part of it. I make no sense, I know but that's how I feel and um, I think this comes in about 3-4 shades only. So you might be able to get your shade. My shade is beige and that's the shade. Uh, wow, I'm so pretty. So uh, yes, this is how the foundation looks like. It's, it's uh, coverage is medium coverage. It won't hide all your blemishes or anything, but it doesn't look caked up, which is a good thing. It looks very natural onto the skin. I actually applied this yesterday and I was out for the whole day and I had to dance and a lot of shiz, party and party and whoop, party and party and whoop. So uh, it did not budge or uh, move away from any uh, move on my face or anything. It was there the whole day. It looked really natural. It was almost like I wasn't wearing anything but wearing anything. It's like my skin but better. But yes, this uh, the uh, coverage is sort of like BB creamish and it retails for 160 rupees which is affordable. It's not the best foundation but it's not the worst foundation. If you want a cute looking packaging sitting onto your tabletop then this is a good buy otherwise even the BB creams works just as fine but the quantity that you get I think is much more than the BB creams how much is this product like the outer covering had all the information and I just removed it so I don't even know how much it has and what it has which is horrible and I will try to see if I can figure that out but yikes yes and it um, it, it does have a fragrance it's not very irritating but it's still there and it just goes away once you apply it. The cute packaging. Let's swatch it for you. Yikes. See how messy this is. Actually this is after I cleaned up. So it's very very messy still. This is how the foundation looks. Pretty blended. And once you blend it, it is very watery but it just spreads really nicely. And gives you a natural cover. The next product is Streetwear Color Rich Perfection Compact. Again, there is the pop-up art which is awesome. It just reminds me of the Archie's comics. And I think it reminds everyone of the Archie's comics which is awesome. Because I love Archie's. I actually got a Jughead t-shirt which is ha 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 ha. Okay, TMI. So yes, this is the Perfection Compact. Um, I am in the shade Neutral. I think again they have like two or three shades in this. You might be able to get your shade uh, on. And it looks like this from the inside. It has a mirror which is great. And then it has a puff which actually works really well. I do not generally use puffs but it has a puff which works well. Now the thing which I like the best about them was they didn't just put up a plastic sheet to separate the puff from the compact. But they actually have like a proper case which you can reuse because plastic sheets are like really difficult to handle you have to like uh, rub them onto the uh, compact to get them off but this is just like very easy uh, to put back and very easy to remove so that your compact and the puff are not in always constant touch now the thing with this compact is it's really really buttery soft it glides onto your skin and it doesn't look packed onto it which I really like it stays on for a long time and it's amazing I really really recommend it it's for 160 rupees as well and um, the product amount that you get is 7 grams I really like this compact I'm not kidding you guys but I really really like this compact if you can get your hands on it surely do plus it's so beautiful we have the powder right here and the puff. I'm going to apply it with the puff because I like the puff as well. It works and this keeps your mat, uh, face matte for 4-5 hours without any problem. And just see, 
again very very natural it, it's not noticeable it just feels so so natural even with the puff application so it would look even better with when applied with a proper brush next we have the streetwear color rich kajal it looks like this it just has the pop character on the top and uh, the pencil looks like this i actually got it in the set of an eyeliner and a pencil because they were together with a free sharpener for 174 rupees so i'm not sure individually how much this retails so i think it would retail for about 100 bucks or so or 70 to 100 bucks not more than that and this is how the pencil looks like it's like a thick pencil with a pointy edge I need to sharpen it which I do not like the fact because sharpening just wastes a lot of uh, product plus the packaging is not that secure when you just clip back on the cap it just tends to move up a little bit and it's, you know it's not the best packaging just not the best packaging plus I do not like sharpening product even though they have provided a sharpener a sharpening pencil product wastes a lot of product yeah I repeat that I repeat things a lot then um, coming to the actual product uh, what I did feel was wrong with this product is um, it is pigmented no doubt it is creamy no doubt but it's too creamy it's that creamy that it feels like it slips from your eyes somehow if that makes sense and it does have camphor so if you have like really sensitive eyes which doesn't accept camphor then stay away from it as I was saying it's too slippery so it just stays onto your eyes for like two hours or maybe three hours maximum three hours maximum and it just like fades away it just slips from your eyes it's very very creamy um i think the uh, pigmentation is good but yeah it's too creamy which poses as a problem in it i don't know does it make sense have you ever used an eye pencil that is so creamy that it slips away from your eyes because water oil it doesn't just go with it I'm making no sense but it doesn't stay on the eye that's the main point it doesn't stay on the eye it's too creamy so that's the kajal also this kajal isn't smudge proof you apply it and it will smudge like no one's business but yes it does smudge a lot here we have the kajal and it has a point like so and one see that is how pigmented it is it's not the most pigmented uh, kajal as I said it's not that black you can obviously layer it up very creamy too creamy actually and we'll wait for 5-10 odd seconds and then we'll try to smudge it and we'll see it smudges now we're gonna try to smudge uh, these liners see it doesn't even take a lot of effort and it just next we have the eyeliner uh, and this is uh, you i uh, think about for 60 70 rupees again not more than that again it has like the pop-up character here and this is what the brush looks like and it has a lot of fallouts the brush had a lot of fallouts it's uneven it's not the thinnest brush the uh, the eyeliner uh, is not the blackest eyeliner it's not the best eyeliner that i've used i've used a lot of cheap eyeliner as well like l18 is very good color sense very very good so that's why i can say that this is not the best kajal out there in the affordable range so you can skip on this kajal very easily without any regrets you can go for color sense it's amazing you can go for l18 that's also amazing but this one it just didn't work for me um, the brush because of its uneven uh, nest uh, doesn't apply the thinnest liner of all time and which is actually a very big con because if you're a person who likes thin eyeliner you cannot probably apply this properly because the unevenness of the brush gives like uneven eyes so you have to cover it up then you have to make it thicker 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 and you end up with raccoon eyes which is not good so you can skip on this eyeliner without any regrets and that's the it with the eyeliner Another thing in this eyeliner is once it's dry, if you like sort of rub it, it will smudge, it will crack and it will just go away. It's not smudge proof, it's not crack proof, which I don't like and that's why I'm saying you can skip it very easily without any regrets. This is the eyeliner and I'm going to show you the uh, uneven sort of brush. It has, it also has fallouts which I'm not sure if you would be able to see but this is really uneven and this is the swatch for it it is a little watery a, more, a little bit more watery than I would have preferred it to be we have our eyeliner down below which also just like smudges 
next we have the heroes of this collection that is the street fit coverage ultra moist lipsticks oh my god i love these these are to die for the consistency the pigmentation the staying power the longevity everything is just bang on perfect like perfect they're for 180 rupees buy them they're amazing you won't regret it trust me the two shades that i have are very dreamy and pink pirouette very dreamy is my edgy shade now it's almost close to cross wires and it smells like MAC lipsticks like MAC lipsticks has that vanilla fragrance it has that same fragrance but yes the longevity everything is just perfect bang on and the other color is pink pirouette which is this awesome orange color I don't know why they named it pink pirouette but I love this I love this to brighten up my mood on dull days because it's just such a bright peppy orange so if you haven't already go ahead and buy these lipsticks I swear to god you won't regret it you'll be like bless you Shreya bless you Next we have my love Berry Dreamy which is a pretty color. I'm going to swatch it right here. Look how gorgeous that shade is. Tell me you don't love it. Tell me you don't love it. It's so beautiful you guys. I cannot tell you how beautiful it is. Next we have Pink Pirouette which is actually an orange shade and I'm going to swatch it next to Berry Dreamy. See such a happy orange color. If you want an orange in your stash but you don't want to spend like crazy on it this is the shade to go to lastly to complete this range we have the street wear color rich mega shine lip gloss again the packaging with that girl and um, this is what uh, the shade that i have is smitten by pink which is the prettiest shade i've ever seen it is almost complementary to the berry dreamy lipstick and um this is what it has a normal dough foot applicator the lip gloss isn't sticky it has um what fragrance like it has a fragrance that like a sweet fragrance which is okay I'm, i like it like i really like it it has flecks of glitter in it like shimmer not glitter shimmer in it which looks really pretty when it uh, when light reflects on it it isn't sticky it stays for two three hours which is the maximum life of uh, any lip gloss so i really like the fact as well so this is also for 180 rupees i think so and they haven't mentioned packaging on like the bottle exactly but they have put on the plastic covering which it comes in this is good as well but if there's one thing that my heart goes out to in this range that like i would say buy it right now in the possessive youtuber voice uh, it would be the lipsticks because they are awesome lastly we have smitten by pink which is a lip gloss and i'm going to swatch it um just below uh dreamy berry so you can see how complementary these shades are to each other it has nice pigmentation as well see how pretty do wood they look together it has very nice pigmentation compared to like a lip gloss which are often very sheer so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you to decide what to buy and what not to buy from the new streetwear color rich collection and if you do buy anything from it don't forget to tweet or instagram it to me i love what you guys buy on my recommendations and i have a twitter and instagram a facebook and a blog links to all would be in the bottom bar so make sure to check those out as well i'll see you guys on friday with the makeup tutorial till then take care bye